Well, I think we moved forward quite a big step in terms of that, uh, as I was just uh, talking about, that we, that we finally were able to do full live broadcasts with 50 frames per second, with a multi-camera approach, uh, with an HGBC live encoding, so the real thing, finally. Uh, before that, there was a lot of testing, but there was, yeah, it was kind of a, an offline testing, if you want. Um, and uh, it, it felt very good to be finally able to, to close the link and to really go through the entire chain and to do what we will be doing uh, in the future. Of course, a little bit more advanced. There's still fine-tuning to be done in the interfaces in, in each of the steps, but um, it will certainly help now that, that we were able to achieve that to uh, yeah, start the fine-tuning and to work on uh, aspects such as how do we do the production, better in Ultra HD and, and so on. Well, uh, certainly, because uh, uh, I always say, especially when it comes to new technology like this and, and, and in the early starting phase, I think we're all sitting in the same boat. We all need to row in, in the uh, same direction at the beginning uh, to create a market then that eventually we can compete in. So um, I think it's always helpful um, to have these kind of gatherings uh, every once in a while to to update each, each other where we stand and what has been achieved and what's still missing, um, just to, to trigger the dialogue between the different partners. Because uh, as I showed on one of the slides, uh, I think there were like 20, 25 logos from different companies on. Um, you know, yeah, Sky, Sky Deutschland might have been the the coordinator or the driver of this, but of course we couldn't have done it with the help of many, many individual companies along the chain who just uh, uh, helped uh, um, getting it all done.